Hey, I'm Ihao. Today I'm going to tell you a lot of things about vitamin D that you probably don't know before. I'm also going to tell you things that will make you appreciate vitamin D, especially at this time of the pandemic. Now, if vitamin D is scientifically proven to boost your immunity, prevent you from depression, diabetes, obesity, increase your attention and your memory. So therefore, this video is going to be filled with fruitful information. I decided to make a part two, not to overwhelm you with so much information. So please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm going to release part two within 10 hours after I release this video. So let's go. When I talk about vitamin D, the first thing I want to mention is bones. Vitamin D is essential for bones. You probably heard it a lot of times, and this is true. But how does it do that? Basically, vitamin D has receptors all over the body. Scientists even call it the miracle vitamin. And it's the vitamin that is only synthesized in our body. All the vitamins we can take from supplements, including vitamin D and food. But vitamin D is the only vitamin we can make once our skin gets sun exposure. When that happens, we turn vitamin D into something and we activate it further so it becomes the active form of vitamin D. Once vitamin D is activated, it's gonna go to two places, the intestines and the kidneys. When it goes to the intestines, it will travel through the nucleus of the cells and it will promote them to produce a protein, which is a calcium binding protein and it's called calbindin. So from the name, you can know the function. It binds to calcium and brings it in the cells of the intestine, increasing the levels of calcium in the blood. And that will result in the buildup of bones from calcium and phosphorus. The second thing vitamin D does is that it goes to the kidneys and prevents the kidneys from getting rid of vitamin D. So it orders them to reabsorb by calcium, sorry, it, it reabsorb calcium and that will keep the levels high of calcium inside your blood, therefore keeping your bones healthy. Obesity is a really big problem and scientists have finally found out that vitamin D is really effective in obesity. I'm gonna keep things simple for you. So obesity is a result of eating more than you actually need. So for example, you, in a scenario where you eat a lot of fat, this excess fat is going to be stored in your cells. But how does this happen? The excess fat you get from a meal will travel all the way to the cells and will, there's a sort of verification that happens within the cells and then the fat will enter the cell and as a result the cell will grow and become a bigger fat cell. In medicine, we call a fat cell an adipocyte. For example, if you go to an ATM machine to deposit some money, what do you do? You put your credit card for verification. The cell, which is the ATM, verifies that someone is going to deposit. And you get the fat or the money and you insert them inside the ATM machine. After verification, the transaction of the position is successful. And then everything is done. Same thing is in the cell. There are certain genes or receptors that get activated whenever we want to deposit fat in adipocytes. But vitamin D prevents the process of verification that happens. So for example, your friend is beside you and he doesn't want you to deposit money in the ATM, so he will just take away the credit card. And like this, there's no way you can deposit money in the ATM, AKA you cannot deposit fat in a fat cell. second way vitamin D acts on keeping you away from obesity is that it increases the protein, I mean sorry, the hormone leptin. And leptin is, is known for its function in keeping you feeling full. In type 1 diabetes, the body is not making so much insulin. Or it's making it, but the immune system is fighting it, so therefore you don't have an insulin production. What vitamin D does is that it goes and binds to the receptor of vitamin D within the pancreas. And this upregulates and increase the production of insulin. So therefore your problem is solved. In type 2 diabetes, insulin is present, 
but the cells are not feeling ready to absorb insulin. So therefore insulin does not get into the cells. What happens is that in the cells, vitamin D binds to VDR receptors, vitamin D receptors. And that will upregulate the proteins that are ready to bind to insulin and let it permit and give it permission and let it enter the cell successfully. So therefore, vitamin D both solves type 1 and type 2 diabetes. That's it for this video. I don't want to overwhelm you with information. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about vitamin D's action on the immune system, on memory, on attention, and most importantly, on dopamine and depression. So make sure not to miss out by subscribing, hitting the bell icon. Please feel free to share to benefit the most amount of people that you can because I'm sure a lot of people lack the knowledge about vitamin D. I'm also going to tell you where to get vitamin D from, what are the best sources you can take vitamin D from. Up until then, stay safe, stay happy, and see you next time.